Phobos is in a death spiral. It orbits just 3,700 miles from the Martian surface, closer to its host planet than any moon in our solar system. If our own moon were as close to the Earth as Phobos is to Mars, it would look 20 times larger. Its orbital period would be in hours, not days like it is now, but hours. And at full moon, it would fill the sky. The daily tides you know, would rise and fall tens of feet, if not hundreds of feet. And so the Earth's moon would eventually crash into the Earth in such a situation. Phobos's predicament is caused by a process known as secular acceleration. As Phobos races faster than Mars rotates, a tidal bump is raised on the Martian surface. In the process, Mars yanks Phobos closer to its surface with each orbit. The struggle between Mars and Phobos is similar to the dynamics of a simple game of tetherball. Imagine the ball as the moon, the pole as the planet, and the rope between the pole and the ball as the planet's gravitational pull. That the gravity would pull the moon in such a way that it speeds up. It goes faster and faster, and it works its way in until it eventually hits the pole. That's exactly what's happening to Phobos. Phobos is going around Mars faster than Mars rotates. That tidal interaction is pulling Phobos in closer and closer and speeding it up in its orbit. In about 50 million years, we expect Phobos to be pulled in so closely it will impact Mars and disappear as a moon of Mars. On the other hand, Deimos, the further out moon, is going slower than Mars rotates. And so it's unwinding the string in the opposite way. And what we see is Deimos is going further and further away from Mars. Uh, and eventually, Deimos will be pulled away from Mars by the gravity of the sun. So over time, Mars will become moonless. Because Phobos outpaces the rotation of Mars, it appears to rise in the west and set in the east. Instead of the planet turning quickly under it, like our moon and most other moons, and thus having it rise in the east and set in the west, it races ahead of the rotation of the planet. And so it comes up on the western horizon and races ahead and sets on the eastern horizon. It will be another 50 million years before Phobos completely disappears. Before then, it may prove useful for the eventual colonization of Mars. <laughs>